There is so much noise here. This noise is caused by different sounds that we can hear with our ears. Hey bubbles, do you notice that some sounds are louder than others? I wonder what sound is. Yes, and I wonder how it is produced. We are surrounded by different sounds all the time. Some sounds are pleasant, such as music, the chirping of birds, and the water flowing in a river. Some sounds are unpleasant, such as the sound of traffic. Sound is a form of energy. Let's see how this energy is produced. Look closely at the surface of the drum when it is beaten. What do you observe? The surface of the drum is moving up and down. Now, place some small pieces of paper on the drum and beat it again. What do you see now? Oh, the pieces of paper are jumping. The quick up and down or back and forth movement is known as a vibration. Sound is produced due to the vibration of matter. We can define sound as a form of energy that is produced when particles of matter vibrate. To understand vibrations, let's perform another activity. Put your fingers to your throat and say something loudly. What do you feel? My throat is vibrating. You're right. We produce sound through the vibration of the voice box in our throat. Similarly, when a metallic spoon falls, a sound is produced. The impact of the fall causes the spoon to vibrate. We can also observe the vibrations of a speaker when a song is played. Time for an exercise! Can you identify the source of sound when a guitar is played? To play a guitar, the strings of the guitar are plucked. This causes the strings to vibrate and produce sound. Time to summarize what we have learned today. Vibrations are the quick back and forth movement of the particles of matter. Sound is a form of energy. Sound is produced due to the vibration of the particles of matter.